Then we did our barbecue review at Barnaby. So today we are at the Barn BQ Smokehouse in Missouri at the Lake of the Ozarks Bike Fest. So this is where we've decided to come today. The idea of this place is that this barn was built in 1850s. Um, so the barn's a little bit old, but I am excited to try out their sauces. They have five different sauces. They have sweet, they have a vinegar based sauce, they have a mayonnaise based sauce, they have a Tennessee hot sauce, and then they have a mustard sauce as well. So I'm eager to try them see what we think. Alright, what do you got there? I have uh, green beans and uh, green beans and bacon, which is so good. So good. And then I've got mustard potato slaw or potato salad. Oh, okay. Very good. Half and a half a slab of ribs. All right. Texas toast. This is the full pork sandwich. Somewhat overflowing. So let's clean it up where it won't spill out all over me. The meat on the side. This is the sweet sauce. It's smoky. Now well, let's try their vinegar made sauce. They call it tangy. Mm -hmm. Circumvent that whole clogged in the tube thing. Honestly, it's not much of anything. Um, it does taste different, but it's not as strong, and it should be more strong, in my opinion. I don't know what I think about that. I think I may try to mix them, which is my go-to if I don't particularly care for the sauce. <laughs> so, let me sit with it. I'll let you know. Okay. All right. Half slab ribs. I don't have any sauce on them. So I shouldn't need any. So here we go. Mm. 
They do fall off the foam. Like, like, literally. They're good. I'm gonna try some of the everything tasting folks. Good. Very good. Awesome. What's the flavor like? Smoky. Um, so you're trying the sweet sauce? Yeah, I'm gonna try sweet sauce. Could use a fork, but I'm not civilized. I like that. All right. So I really am trying to like this sauce. I feel like I give negative reviews every time I go somewhere. <laughs> Because it's actually quite disappointing. It is different. It tastes different. But it doesn't have any, it doesn't last very long. There's no lingering flavor, if you will. And vinegar is supposed to be pretty potent, right? This is not. It does taste a lot different than this. I'm not saying it's the same. It's just not enough. I don't know. If you come here, check it out. Let me know what you think. So I'm going to try the sweet sauce again here. almost got like a honey flavor to it. Do you think that's right? Uh, like a honey flavor to it? So I think so. Maybe. It's not overly sweet. It's hard to pinpoint. And it, it is smoky. Are you talking about the sweet one? The sweet one, yeah. Oh, let me see. It has like a honey flavor to it. I can see that. So between the sauces, the, the sweet wins. Um, I have, of course, I haven't tried the other ones, but um, it's not bad. It actually has a longer lingering flavor. But it's not a sugary sweet. It's not like it's a, not, not like a sugary sweet, sweet, like a baby raised, sweet baby raised sweet. It's more like a sort of a mellow, smoky sweet. Yeah, yeah. With a, um, and you can, when you first put it in your mouth, you can kind of get this um, hint of, of honey. Ribs are good. <laughs> now, I love the atmosphere. This building is all rustic. Like I said, it's 1850s barn. That's pretty cool. The staff has been very friendly. Um, it's very clean. It's not overly busy. So, um, you know, those aspects here I think are, are good. It's uh, the, the ambiance is, is um, it's rustic and yet it's still unique. Um, and that crazy busy. Yeah. Um, so I'm enjoying that. So she loves her ribs. She's licking her fingers. That's a good. That's a good sign. Get the ribs. <laughs> <laughs> so this is the only barbecue place that I've gone to at Lake of the Oaks Arch. And the atmosphere is lovely. The people are lovely, but it is not the best barbecue in Missouri. Not that I have anything to compare it to. I think it's the best barbecue in <laughs> But we'll try somewhere else next time. So my wife is here asking me about my favorite place to eat growing up when I was a kid. And it was barbecue. It was Malir's Barbecue. Now I've mentioned Malir's before. Malir's was in the south side of Atlanta, and there was three brothers. There was one that put a restaurant in Fairburn, Georgia, one that put a restaurant in Noonan, Georgia, and then another one that put a restaurant in Fayetteville, Georgia. And they all had different sauces. So I imagine that they probably grew up with it and then changed their mama's sauce however they saw fit. Now, the one in Malir's, the, the one in Fairburn is the one that we went to the most often. Because the one in Newton 
was a shack. It was really, really small. Not a good atmosphere. Uh, it may have even been to go only. Uh, it was not in a good part of town. But they had the best sauce. I think. But you only got it to go. Now, whether you got it to go because it, it's the only option it had or it is just because it was in a bad part of town, I don't know. I don't remember. But they eventually, the brothers passed on, and no one was around to carry the, the mantle. So, the nearest barbecue is gone. The as far as sauce I know. dies. All, the, all three sauces died. Um, the one in, in Fayetteville, uh, I believe, was pretty popular. Um, I think it, that was the younger brother. Um, but uh, I wasn't in Fayetteville as often. Of course, I went to all three. But um, I would get Noonan Barbecue to go on a regular basis, and then I would actually attend the one in Fairburn. Uh, we used to go with an entire family. We had six people in my family. We would go all the time. We thought it was great. So... Growing up, that was my favorite. You've heard a lot about my favorites over the time, and I know I seem like I'm super picky. <laughs> um, I like what I like. And I would be honest with you, I'm not going to tell you something's great if I don't think it is. Uh, Trust but, me on that. That's, that. that's a true statement. <laughs> but it's all different. You know, everybody has their own opinion of what's good and what's not good. I recognize that. But... We're, this is my hunt. This is my mission. So, um, you know, there you go. If you are related to the Maliers people, Maliers, 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 you are related. You are a Malier, or you know the Maliers. Please send a bottle of sauce to PO Box. Our house. <laughs> I don't believe there's any Maliers left. If there are, if you guys have gone been to Maliers or this place, let's know in the comments. Let's know. But. Uh, What's up? What's your experience? So I lifted you up with the bikini bike wash and then back down with the hangout and the barbecue. Part three coming up. So if you enjoy these, please like and subscribe. Helps us out with the YouTubes.